Melanie, do you know why uh, hockey players have to wear a helmet or we have to wear a helmet when we play hockey or when we're biking or when we're skiing? Well, I wear one to keep my hair nice. Oh, well, that's a good reason, but also it's for safety. So your head is a structure. It's actually a shell structure, which is a very strong structure. Shell structures look like eggs, kind of like your head. Are you saying you have an egg head? Well, we all do. All oh. our heads are shell structures and they're very strong but they all have a breaking point, which is where the helmet comes in. It's also very strong, it's also a shell structure, but it's made of different materials. I think we should do an experiment, Christina. Mm. We should see how well the helmet protects something like your head. Good idea. So maybe we could drop it up from up here on the 200s down to the 100s. Good idea. Can I borrow your head? Absolutely not. But well... I have here a melon. Oh, perfect. So we'll put the cantaloupe in here. So I'm just going to go ahead and drop it down then Okay. and see what happens. We'll see how well the helmet protects the melon. Here Ready? we go. One, two, three, drop. drop. Oh, wow. Totally worked. Yeah, it did. So the helmet totally protected the melon. That cool. was awesome. Yeah. Well, what do you think is going to happen if we didn't have a helmet? Mm, I don't think we're going to get the same results at all. Well, do you have another melon? Uh, I do. Awesome. Okay, ready? Let's try it again. Okay, right. one, two, three, drop. drop. Oh, ooh, that didn't look very good. That made a big mess. Mm -hmm. Well, I'm glad I always wear a helmet when I play sports then. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. And so should you guys. Always wear a helmet when you're playing sports to keep safe.